So it's time to replace the pistons in your machine. Maybe it's been lacking power lately, or it's been hard to start, or it won't even start at all. Replacing your pistons is one thing, but you also need to know what caused your piston to wear or become damaged. See, this information is critical to ensure a long lasting repair. If an outside force has caused the piston or cylinder to be damaged, this must also be addressed to prevent it from happening again in the future. Here's what you need to know before you can replace your piston. For the purposes of this video, we'll be discussing what could cause your piston to wear out or fail. We'll be referring to the intake and exhaust side of the piston. There are several ways to identify which side is which, but it's always best practice to check the OE service information whenever in doubt. An arrow at the top of the piston will most likely point toward the exhaust side. If you see IN or IN stamped on the top of the piston, this will indicate the intake side. But there's an even easier method. Find the locating pins inside the piston ring grooves. These will be located on the intake side of the piston. Now let's talk about some common piston failures. Raw fuel is fuel with an improper oil mixture or no oil at all. Engines need lubrication to operate and without it, you'll see extensive piston scoring likely on the intake and exhaust sides. You may also find the crankcase is dried out during disassembly, including the bottom side of the piston. Scoring between the connecting rod and the wrist pin area underneath the piston is also an indication of poor lubrication. There is another cause which can exhibit similar engine damage, and that's heat seizure. This type of failure will cause piston damage, which is very similar to that of raw fuel, but the bottom side of the piston won't be devoid of oil and neither will the crankcase. Heat seizures can be caused by over revving the engine, over lean carburetor adjustment, or even a simple air leak. Speaking of heat, engines, they make a lot of it. This is why proper engine cooling is so critical. If the engine overheats, the oil will break down and darken the piston. You'll likely see discoloration of the intake side of the piston with heavy discoloration and scoring on the exhaust side. Now let's talk about another fuel concern, stale fuel. Fuel does have a shelf life and if an engine runs on old broken down fuel, it can leave heavy varnish deposits inside the engine. These deposits will be seen all around the piston as well as inside the crankcase. The varnish could cause the piston rings to stick inside the piston leading to scoring on the exhaust side. If you see damage on the intake side of the piston, but not the exhaust side, this can indicate that dirt has been ingested by the engine. A faulty or poorly sealed air filter could allow dirt to get by, effectively sandblasting the intake side of the piston. If the crankcase is also dirty, that's a dead giveaway. You could see heavy scaly deposits on the top of the piston, as well as heavy piston and cylinder wear. If the intake side of the piston looks fine, but the exhaust side is showing heavy spot scoring, which is isolated to a small area of the piston, a lean seizure could be the culprit. This type of failure can be caused by failing to warm up the engine before placing it under heavy load, over lean carburetor adjustment, fuel restriction, or again, a simple air leak. So what's the takeaway? While all pistons will eventually need to be replaced, you can extend their life by simple engine maintenance. Sticking to the OEM service intervals, running the specified fuel and oil mix, and keeping up with maintenance. Inspect, clean, and replace the air filter often. The same goes for the fuel filter. Visit us online at Nomura.com for technical information or to keep up to date with our newest product releases. Thanks for watching.